Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. And welcome to The Nameless by Sacrosanct Studios. A game that was released in late, late, late October. Like I just... Wait, well, I mean, what day is it? Yeah, basically two weeks ago, and I've been meaning to get to it. It is a classic survival horror game with themes that are loosely based on the works of H.P. Lovecraft. It looked interesting. I'd like to thank the developer for letting me know about the game and the key. And hey, well, let's give it a try. Oh, difficulty. Normal. Not sure if there's endings based specifically on what difficulty I pick, but let's just get through it and see what it's about, especially since it's pixelated, as you can tell. Hmm. John's not in his bed. Strange. My bed, I am not tired, though. Insider John's belongings, I don't want to intrude. I will intrude on my own, though. My journal. 1949. It's been three days since... It's been three days since I've been on the island. It's just like I thought. Lonely and mundane, but it doesn't bother me too much. I've always been sort of a loner. Plus, John's here. He may be an old fellow, but he's better company than most people my age. As for the m m mundanity of it all, doing the same thing day in, day out can get tedious. I'm not surprised that the last few keepers who accompanied John here all ended up abandoning their posts, which is why I decided to keep a journal. Maybe this can add at least a small bit of excitement to this dreary place. I would disagree. I mean... You just start writing in a journal, and what are you going to do? Like, read it repeatedly over and over? Ugh. Like, if I was born in an era when internet didn't exist, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just a millennial thing, man. But, just thinking of how dull it is to be in a... Like, a non-electric, non-internet era... Do you know what kind of things... Like, I, I was a kid that growing, growing up... Uh, without internet. So, I mean, I knew what it was like to be a kid without internet, without phone, without cell phones, since smartphones didn't exist back then. So, I, I, I lived through the era of before tech was everywhere and after tech was everywhere. At least we played games that were more fun than what, you know, the boomers and silent generations played. They played with sticks and hoops and rocks and pets and just were dead bored. Like, just... Either either everyone in that era was drunk all the time, or they were bored to death and got up to weird mischief and weird shit all the time. I don't know, man. The toilet. I don't have to go right now. But yeah, no, I know. I wouldn't like this kind of position. Of just being out in the middle of nowhere. I'd be bored to death. Quite literally. Our radio, nothing to report right now, but eh, enough of that rant. Our logbook filled with information related to each call we make or receive, such as dates and call signs. A giant barrel. A nice warm fireplace. I do miss fireplace. I do miss roasting tasty marshmallows over an open fire. Okay. Ah, lighthouse. I do love games with lighthouses. The light is off. Where the hell is John? Reminds me of that other one, the the one who, the like, what was it called? Wait, let me check. Lighthouse, the one I really really liked. Lighthouse. No one lives under the lighthouse. Now that was a classic. Everything with the lighthouse usually becomes good games. So hey, here's open. Why is the light off? Indeed. Mug, canned foods and other miscellaneous things, and a mug. Why a mug is there? I don't know. Maybe it's John's mug. Oh, hello, John. You seem fine. John, the light is out. There's a ship out there. Dead in the water. I've been trying to reach them over the radio all night to no avail. Well, what should we do? We could take the rowboat out there and see if anyone needs help. Good idea. One of us should stay here with the radio, though. Right, you go. It's time I get this light back up and running anyway, especially in this fog. Yeah, go on you, John. Just uh, do what you gotta do. Guess we don't have to go up there yet. Alright, so we'll get a robo and check out the supposed abandoned ship and hope it's not haunted. Curious what else there is on the island, though. We'll have to check and see. Oh. 
I'm getting a lot of people commenting about my facial hair too, it's kind of funny. It's either I was using the VTuber model, which either people hated or loved, or didn't care. And then the facial hair. Oh, that's all there is to the island. The house, the lighthouse, and a dock. Mm. But yeah, I know. I, I really want to shave my facial hair though, but there's a bunch of people that are like, oh, I love it, Nico. Please don't get rid of your facial hair. It's so manly. I, I can barely grow facial hair though. I mean, do you even see? I'm missing patches and shit. I can't even grow a full beard. I probably got more, like, I'm closer to Asian genetics than anything else, even though I have no Asian blood in my genetics. Just what I mean, like, I don't know, maybe it's the lack of testosterone, but not in a way that makes me a soy boy. I don't know, because uh, this scruff is all I can probably manage. I, I can't get a full beard, I highly doubt it. And so it's like, I don't know, I'm, I've always been one to not be able to grow hair. Like, I don't know, it's like, if I look at, like, say, my older brother, who's two years older than me, his leg hair is like a forest. Mine... Mine is just... I don't know, light. My, my, I have very little body hair. I'm for my age. So it's like, I don't think I'll be able to even grow a proper beard. I'll just look unkempt and dirty by keeping this beard, but I don't know, tell me your thoughts, nonetheless. As long as it doesn't get too irritating on my face, because it's like... I don't know. It's useful for scratching an itch on my arm, but it gets annoying when I'm trying to sleep and it's just like... It's like it stabs me. <laughs> but that aside, let's continue with the game. Okay. The door is locked. The keyhole is decorated with a silver finish. Silver key? It's locked. The sign says Captain's Room. Do we have like a map or anything? I guess tab equals inventory. Time of how much we've been playing. This just goes back out. Okay, let's check the entire boat. Like, this end is, I think, what I patrolled. I think. Yeah, I want to check here. It's a decent sized ship. Anything here for me? Doesn't seem to be. But it might be relative later. Cargo and whatnot. If we can get it opened. Just not sure which side. I think it was the other side where we got our uh, rowboat docked up on the side of the boat. Yeah. Okay, so we won't go to this door. But... The door is locked. The keyhole. A bronze finish! Locked from the other side. It's definitely somewhere to hide. Yeah, okay, we'll be running from something. Oh. A necklace with a strange glowing jewel pendant. My head feels a bit fuzzy looking at it. Ah, save. Okay, cool, cool. It looks like a first aid kit. I don't need it right now. Okay, we'll leave that open then. If we get hurt at some point. And we'll leave this open in case we need to hide in it. So just a nice... Resident Evil style, uh, Peaceful room. And a save point. Where else can we go? That one was a silver finish. We can go downward or... Upward, okay. I feel like we're going to get chased, especially in this area. Oh, we could hide in this smaller, smaller locker. It's a little bit of a tight fit, though. Whiskey bottle! I wonder what that's for. Maybe John will like it. It's locked. The keyhole is decorated with a bronze finish as well. Okay, so there's two doors we can use the bronze key on. Whiskey, either for lighting, like using the alcohol as a burnable thing. We'll see. Ooh. The hell kind of technology is this? I put my hand on it and nothing. Well, no shit. You don't work here. Hmm. 
whiskey bottle. Unless the whiskey bottle is like health. Oh, hello. Hmm. Well, if we can find a dismembered person and take their hand, that would work too. A poster depicts a young woman being burned at the stake. There's a button underneath the poster. Yes. I was expecting some kind of rubble noise. The blanket is covered in blood. I'd rather not look underneath. Can we take their hand? There's something written in blood on the wall. The witch burns, but has not yet died. A thief hangs from noose tied. A traitor is relieved of his head, while the witch is not quite dead. The deceiver's throat is cut with knife, with a knife. That is when the witch loses her life. Hmm. A stack of books, none of them are important. There's a lot of lockers here. We'll check them all. We might have to push the buttons in some kind of sequence. Oh, oh, okay. I gotcha. It has to do with the poem. Crewman's Diary. I resent the fact that the captain agreed to chauffeur around these so-called researchers. He even had a small laboratory installed before the voyage. These people are truly pressing their luck with the strange things they pull off the ocean on the ocean floor. We aren't meant to be down there. There's a reason God didn't give man gills. No, God. Superstitiousness. Let's say another one. I'll have to reread the poem as soon as I find each. What are the whiskey bottles for? It could be health, but I didn't look at the con the controls. Is there something in here? The door won't open. There's no keyhole. I don't like that one at all. I don't trust it's like the end of the hallway. Spooky, spooky locker. But all right. The witch burns but has not yet died. A thief hangs. Chair is relieved. Head while the witch is not quite dead. Okay, witch burns, but has not died. Okay, I already pressed that button first then. That's fine. A traitor's relieved of his he head while the witch is still not dead. Okay, relieved of his head. Decapitated. And... The deceiver's throat is cut with a knife. Man is hanged. Oh, wait. Man is hanged. Is that the third? A thief hangs. Oh. Shit, then I did it wrong. Okay, so it should be... Yes. And then... A thief hangs right afterwards. The guillotine. And then... Something spooky spooky gonna pop out of there? And... Huh? I did it wrong? Hmm... Let's see, which burns, but has not yet died? Maybe the witch, then, is literally the last. A traitor is relieved of his head. The witch is not dead. The deceiver's throat is cut with a knife. That is when the witch dies. Okay, okay, so... The thief is first. Then decapitation. Okay. Thief... First. Decapitation first. There, decapitation second. Then their throat is cut. Then finally the witch is dead. What? 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 That wasn't what? But maybe I have to leave the room to reset it. I'm pretty sure I was thinking of it the right way. And again. Hm. 
There we go. I was getting... I was getting worried that, uh, like, I was thinking, like, what would have happened was, like, you click this one being the last one, and then it just fucking, like, slams open and something starts chasing you immediately. That's what I was dreading. So I'm kind of happy that's not the direction it went. Man, that would be kind of spooky. But okay, we got the bronze key. We can explore hmm, the rest of the ship, I guess. Where does this go, for instance? Even deeper. My word. The door is locked from the other side. So there's going to be some kind of mixture of strange technology in this ship then. Who knows to what degree. Maybe they've made Frankenstein here. Or Frankenstein's son. Let's see. The two doors with the bronze keys, one thing. Hm. A fuse box that looks like one of the fuses are missing. Alright. Just need to see if there's any other doors and what they require here to fully map out the entire area. Does this lead to the cargo room? Ooh. The door is locked. The keyhole is decorated with silver. I guess I'll have to remind myself there'll be some things. No? Nothing? That there'll be some things. Researcher's notes. Like some of the rooms here that I need to get back into. Researcher's notes. After months of failed expeditions, our last journey to the ocean floor yielded some interesting new specimens. Their anatomy somewhat resembles that of a squid, also, their intelligence seems to be off the charts. Uh. Splatoon inklings? Interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to continuing experimentations in the coming days. Hmm. What are you doing experimenting on Splatoon children, please? What are you doing? But... Silver finish. Eh, do that one after. Gold finish. Gold. Gold. Okay, one silver... Or two silver. The handle's missing, can't open it. Which one was it? Silver. Two silver doors, then. And three gold I'll need to do. Bizarre music. Possibly it'll be somewhere I need to go nearing the end of the game. We'll see. Mm. I guess we can do... Captain's Room. The... was it? Silver one? This one? Bronze key. This room first, and then the upstairs area. We'll see. A cafeteria. What can I find here? Plate, plate. It's locked from the other side. We can get through the dumbbell? Can't remember, this is the food elevator. Dumbbell waiter? Dumb waiter? Something like that. I think call it the dumb waiter. Oh! Fuse, here we go. How the hell? Wait, what? hey, how did you get here? What? I'm sorry, I thought something was... Never mind that. How did you get here? Do you have a boat? Yes, it's tied up below. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Now hold on, what exactly is going on here? There's no time to explain. Shit, they found us. Uh, no! Yeah, he's impaled. Yeah, well, you're dead. Now oh, it starts there. I was about to say, there's no way we'd find survivors in a horror game. What was that thing? It was Cthulhu-like thing. I don't know, I, I don't read much of Lovecraft's things. All I know is in Lovecraft Universe, there's the, the weird sea sound... With Call of Cthulhu game covered it, like the, the seaside town where the people were turning into fish folk kind of thing. That's all it will make me think about, because anytime it's Cthulhu and people are turning into creatures... <laughs> Alright, well I guess we're starting off by fucking running. And being attacked, they're everywhere. Cool. 
We're gonna have to get to that safe room. They've infested the ship and I have no way of defending myself. What? God damn it, really? Can I... The, the rowboat is gone. It's much too cold to swim back. What do I do? Uh, avoid these things. If I can. Alright. Ah, come on! Can I kill them? I, I'm gonna have to look up online. They're literally everywhere in the way. Let me check up online. Fight or flight. When encountering these inhabitants, you must make a choice on how to deal with them. Each scenario will be different, so take care in choosing whether to run or hide or stand and fight. There will be weapons, I just haven't found any of them yet, and there all are multiple endings. De-emphasized combat, Lovecraftian enemies, violence and gore, fully explorable environment. Alright. So, I'm gonna have to find a way to get around these things to actually save the game. If I can? I have to wait for them to move the fuck out of my way. Ah, come on, really? Is there anywhere I can go? Like, of the two doors... Fuck. I'm not sure, like, are they already always in the same spot? I can't remember where I'm going to. Whiskey bottle. Oh, bottle filled with alcohol. Press... Oh, Q to throw. I'm not sure if then if one of the endings is using that or not. Oh, I'm being fucking killed. Without any audio. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright. I just want to get to the save. Might have to go with just one... You know, fuck you. Bruh. Okay, well, I need to, uh, oh. Alright, let's try to swerve around them. Jesus Christ. These I haven't saved for a long time. Uh, we're, we'll save here. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, first aid kit, please. And I guess I'll save over again. Yes. Alright, now that we understand what's happening... We need to use the silver key again. Actually, also the, the fuse. Let's, let's hope their attack animation is just like very frontal. Okay, so just should just be able to speed run right through them like that. I'll see if not killing them gets us a good ending or a bad ending. Uh, throwing whiskey. I mean, we need a layer, I believe. But Bronski, new location. Hmm. We just have to always keep moving, I guess. Don't disturb the enemy. They're angry, but they're also very peaceful. You just have to... Hip, hip, avoid their stabbing. Uh, we came from that way. Just gotta make sure I don't get cornered. Okay, so that way's there. No door. What's this way? This is not where I came from, right? Okay, different. Ah, there's no power. Oh, no, the, yeah, the fuse. I stopped to use the fuse then. Okay. Basics of piano. First things first, you must learn the keyboard. The notes on the key piano are grouped into 12 keys, 7 white, 5 black. Here's a visualization of the groupings. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take a screenshot just in case. I need to find, I guess, something to play. Yeah, I'll take that. Cabinet door won't budge. Strangely, there is no... Okay, so I need to play the song to open it. I'm not sure if I wasted the uh, prior whiskey bottles in. If I'll need them for a boss fight or something, that would really suck. I'm going to assume we had to splash them with, with whiskey and then burn them. And hello? What whiskey? Wasting whiskey by throwing them at monsters is also just not too opportune. 
Where does it go? Ah, okay. We do need to get to the fuse, which is zoom, zoom. Hello. Perfect. Just speed run through them. Here you go. Now we can use the dumb waiter. Uh, I guess we're going back up then. Thank God they can't attack us when it's like in the middle of going through the door. All right. As long as I don't forget where it is I'm exactly going. We need to go up that ladder, the stairs up there still. Wait. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The power's been restored. I can use the dumb waiter now. Go to where the first dude died. What is here? An industrial-sized refrigerator? Unlocked. Can I take your hand? The man's identification tag indicates he's part of the research team. Yeah, he got... Oh, he got yeah, sliced rather than... I mean, he got stabbed and then... Whoosh, like, upwards. Silver key. Yes. This must have been where the researcher was hiding. That dude was able to cram in there. Interesting. But, okay. Back up. Wait, that's oh, not strong enough to ascend? Interesting. Alright, but yeah. Um, we got the silver key. But the priority is fully exploring this ship. I'm kind of curious about multiple endings. You know what? Actually, we'll save. Since we can just avoid being damaged pretty easy. I, I was worried at first the damaging would have been a little bit more on the unfair side. But hopefully... Eh, hopefully we'll be able to get all endings. Depends on how long the game is. Because I'll be trying to play in a single... sitting. Silver key. Let's get in here then. Fuck it. Bathroom! It's not locked. It feels like someone is holding it closed. Bullets? Hmm. I didn't need that, but okay. I kind of wasted that. I'll just hope I don't take any more damage. At some point, someone's possibly going to bust out of this. Hmm. Note to self, or note to others, never peek through bathroom doors in a public washroom. That is creepy. And wait... Actually, I can't even remember what I was going to do, too. Oh, yeah, I was going to go up again. Hello. Oh, okay. That hurt. That sucks. Back up here. Motherfuckers, now I could have used the bathroom health, but... Let's just hope we we're not fucked. I'm sure we're fine. Okay, what is up here? Uh, except, you know, monsters. The bridge. The ship's throttle. There are no engines running. Moving this will have no effect. Gauges and dials, I don't know what they mean. A map of the world! Ah, silver key. Good thing we had the silver key then. Aha! Flare gun! Ah, I see. We throw whiskey and then burn them with the flare. I see. Well, we're gonna avoid combat just to see if, like, the hardest method is the way to get, uh, I don't know, the better ending. Because then it's like the second time. I play through it. It'll be easier just to kill everything that's in the way, sort of thing. The radio is not working. It seems to be missing some parts. You have to burn them. Soak them in gas or something and light them up. It's the only way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I considered that. We'll see, I guess, if we can find some of those parts later. But for now, I don't want to kill. 
We can save it prior to killing, and maybe it's like if one of the endings involves having killed some of them versus uh, like never killing any of them being another ending as just like a, an assumption, as a possibility, then we'll see. But let's get to the next... Where was it I wanted to go, actually? We've explored up here. I guess the bedrooms that require the silver keys are next. Alright, yeah, back here. Silver key! Aha, another save room. Researchers rambling. They told me their name today. I dare not utter it. The holiest of men couldn't stomach the grotesqueness of its sound. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen. My god, the things I've learned since our friend arrived. Their civilization seems to be much more advanced and much older than our own. They've taught me a new way to run a ship, making coal obsolete. A new way to open doors, making keys obsolete. Unbelievable, this could change the world. I was able to extract some of their blood when we first captured them. It's a rather unnatural purple color. Upon testing it, I found that it melts completely through human flesh and bone. Incredible! Well, I guess I'll just take all these in case we have to kill, like, a big boss that takes a lot of flares. Who knows? But with that, there's no health. So we'll just save. Necklace. Save. Yes. Eh, a save room here. That's good enough. Now we have sa two save rooms. And this one... I'll predict there'd be health in this one, if anything. Let's see. Yep. Whiskey. Researcher's notes. I wanted to keep this note to remind me of the passcode to open the cabinet in the bar. Probably shouldn't make it too obvious, though, in case someone else finds this. Gaia, Aphrodite, Demeter, Erebus, Ares. Okay, so it's piano. Gotcha. I'll take, then, a screenshot of that. We need to play the piano. And play it successfully. So basically, I'll uh, skip ahead and get to the piano and play it properly. Alright, so let's see. Uh, looking on my second monitor, we have Gaia, which should be then being <laughs> Bonk. Uh, D. E. A and C. Ah, I think it unlocked something. Okay, usually it's like, you know, a click will happen. I was like thinking I got it wrong at first. Chemical. That possibly could be important. Maybe. Silver key all used. Ah, we used all the silver key too. Chemical. Oh, purple liquid. Well, must be their blood. So it can dissolve something important. What needed dissolving though? Electronic device? Hmm, wait. Maybe... We can melt the dude's hand off. Ah, yeah. I knew it. I was like, oh, what would we want to melt? Eh, we can melt his hand. Now give me the hand. Here you go to hand. Excellent. Progress. Use the hand. Let's get in here. Oh, this place is a bit more leggier compared to everything else. What puzzle will await us here? Flare. The scientific terms and mathematic equations, nonsense. I agree. This place definitely is not massively... It's, it's not optimized. I can feel the chugginess in my movement. Maybe you guys won't be able to tell. I can feel it in my bones. Mm. Just want to open all these and not miss anything. It's a lot of these, but they don't look like they're openable kind of thing from the... Uh... Ooh, gold key. That's the kind of thing I needed for progress. It's a very interesting, like, at least a Resident Evil style game, though. Like, instead of spades and 
clubs, you know, the typical chess, uh, not chess, uh, you know, deck of cards crap that they usually have in Resident Evil. Oh, yes, bronze, silver, and gold. The specimens have broken out of their holding tanks. It looks like they have escaped into the ventilation system. We have severely underestimated their intelligence. A fish tank presumably for keeping live specimens. How many, uh, how many Splatoon octopus people did you put in there? Not sure what these machines are used for. No. There's no... Huh. If there's no puzzle here, then that's all well and good. Got the gold key, too, so... Yeah, more exploration. I'll have to see how many actual endings there are. If there's multiple endings, does that mean two or three? Hopefully when we do beat the game... Oh. Okay, we'll have to avoid him. I still want to try playing... Actually, wait. There's a save in here. I want to avoid killing. Because if they're implying you should be careful and fight or flight, it really heavily implies that there will probably be consequences for one's actions. Also, the handle's missing, so if we find a handle, it goes there. Gold key. Wait, this still won't open. I think it's a simple puzzle. Hang on. Okay, that one... It's just like the, the the candles, it's kind of obvious. Oh, a valve handle, okay. A lot more rounds. Is that it? Wait, what? Can I, or can I open the other rooms now? Yeah. This puzzle been solved, I don't think this door will ever open. Oh, it's just for the middle room? Okay, well, if we got the handle, I'll have to double check the inventory. The gold key looks like it's fully used, then. Alright. Because normally it will say used if you. It'll say used if its usefulness is basically all used up. So we don't have to worry about looking for other gold key doors that I may have forgotten. Handle's been placed. I'm expecting some kind of boss fight at some point. Some giga... Giga octopus thing. Ah, valve puzzle, oh no! Uh, to access maintenance door in the fourth chamber, all chambers must be drained first. What does that mean? Does that mean I have to... Chambers. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's hope all the lights off means I succeeded. Let's hope. Oh, maybe. Maybe I... Maybe, maybe I got it. How would I... Oh, wait. Maybe... Okay. I, I solved it pretty quickly. When it comes to things like that and brute forcing, remember, I'm always really quick. But what's... I feel like there's going to be something here, though. Besides the shiny item I didn't pick up. Wait, wasn't there a shiny item? I swear I looked down, there was something shiny. Hmm. The boilers have gone cold, nothing but ash left inside. I can't. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, I'm not gonna grab that suspiciously purple thing until uh, maybe later. No. Hexagonal rock. With an unnatural glow. At this point, I'm gonna save on a separate save, just in case touching that thing 
is cursed in itself. Or if it's absolutely necessary for, you know, going forward. We'll see. Okay, well, the rock has been placed. The engines are now running. Maybe I can drive the ship now. Ugh. Wait, what? Just the engine. The fuck did I unlock? Anything else? I can... Possibly not. What's this? Where's this go? <laughs> no, fuck you all. Uh, where's this go? No, seriously. Drive it. Why would I drive it? Ah! Really? Ah, uh, kind of bullshit placements. The captain's... Captain's room is still sealed. Um... Let's just go somewhere. Let me think. Um... Low in health? Uh... Hmm. I guess we just go to the bridge, if I don't die immediately. Having, like, opened a door and there's a monster right in front of you is kind of annoying. At least give some space. But okay. Next save file. Just in case I'm fucked and I uh, don't want to take that kind of damage. See if we can go to the bridge and if it's just... Like that. Fuck off. We need to go... Up. We don't have the captain's key, though. So, either we'll find that later, or we missed it. It depends if driving the boat equals an ending, or just a continuation. We'll see. Alright, well. The engines, I can drive the ship now. Why would I want to? Good ending. Really. I started the ship towards the shore. Inland is where I'll go, and inland is where I'll stay. After the things I've seen, I vow to never return to the sea. The ocean is deep, and its horrors dark. I intend to send word to John to abandon his post. I sincerely hope he will heed my warning. Ending 1. Hmm. These of the boats gone. We do need the power of the ship, but... Hmm. Total playtime, total medkits, and total save. D. I am. I'm not the type to speed run. Okay, but mm, let me try killing, anyways. Bonk. Nice. Even a little reload animation. Burn in hell. Um. There has to be something else, right? Whiskey, flare, no. Flare gun, hand, gold key, valve. Okay, well, since you're annoying. I'm not sure. There's, this, there's the hidden thing. I'm gonna have to... Where was it? Where I drained the water. We're gonna have to go back down there. Yes. Holding it closed. Maybe there's a secret to getting that open. But either way, uh, give me one sec. I gotta wait. Do they respawn nonetheless? Or is just that one? Okay, yeah, they, they're you, you two then. Fuck you. Killing every one of them on this goddamn floor. We'll see if that changes the ending. Otherwise, we have to... Go back in here. Yeah, see, right there! There's something there. That's just a whiskey damn bottle. Um... I think it's just a whiskey bottle then. <laughs> Let me check around though, because I still haven't found the captain's keys. Which definitely are important. I think in one of the notes said something about the key, or maybe I just thought that up falsely. But I definitely, definitely am missing a captain's key and the other endings and how to get to that if it doesn't simply involve, you know, actually there being a punishment for killing them, killing too many of them. Don't know. 
Oh, wait. <gasps> Captain's key was on the motherfucker down here. Oh, there we go. I don't know if it was just from killing a certain amount or just one of them is the captain or became the captain. But we found which one has the key. Excellent. It could have been just by sheer damn luck, too. Hopefully I'm not screwed. Yes, Captain's key. What's in here? What makes this room so special? This might get me the other ending. Varying if there's... Oh. Radio parts! Ah! Captain's journal. I've sabotaged the engines and the radio in the cartographer's room. As captain of the ship and its contents are my responsibility, I can't let anyone or anything off this boat. With any luck, this thing will end up at the bottom of the ocean. I just have to find a way to survive. That's it? Yeah. So, sabotaging in a good way? Best ending? Now, where was that... God, where was that room? I'll have to... <laughs> let me skip ahead. I gotta find out where that damn room even was. Actually, I think I recall it now. It was in... the bridge here. Sorry to God. Where was in here? Yeah, excellent. Okay, let's see what this does. If it's ending to... Boom. Radio is fixed. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Come in, John. It's me. I'm out on the ship. The rowboat's gone. I can't return to the island. John? I'm here. Your boat washed up on shore. I'll row out to get you. Oh, thank you. And hurry. This place isn't safe. Oh, come on. I do all the extra work and you're saying it's a bad ending or something? Uh-oh. Wait, I'm back here. Oh, am I playing John now? Oh, no. Well, we're playing John as we're going to get absolutely, definitely boned. Let's see if there's anything we can do then. I'm going to see if I can find anything I can use. My journal. The continue. Uh, they continue to send one after another. I just sink the robo and tell them they've stolen it. Wait. They continue to send one after another. I just sink the robo and tell them they've stolen it and abandon their post. I think they're buying it. The new one just arrived. I'm going to send him out to the ship tomorrow. Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, John's in on it! Oh. If you didn't come up and check John's possessions, you wouldn't have learned that. That might maybe determine a third ending. Maybe. Maybe. Either that or just lore the toilet. Lore that you... Uh, it's, it's one, it's lore. Or two, you need to see that in order to get a different ending. We'll see. We'll see. So obviously if I get ending three all of a sudden because I saw that book, then it means I need to find out ending two. I'm going to see if I can go up here and turn on the light or anything different before going to the boat, though. Hmm? Am I bringing... wait. What am I doing with this, then? Am I... It gets cold. It's best to keep a fire burning. Where am I bringing this with me? To, to the bed? What, what do I do with the bodies? New guy's bed. My bed. Um, so the rope... They, so they... Huh. Let me figure out where they want me to bring the body, if not the lighthouse. What? Oh, a secret door. Oh, deep underground sacrificial chamber. Oh. 
Press E to present body. My apologies, great old one. He was never meant to make it that far. I brought him to you, he still lives, so that you may exact punishment. For the next one, I promise you'll get your prize sooner. Ending 2. But is that all the endings? Bad ending. You do more work and you get the bad ending. Hmm. I mean, I could speed run through it to get a better rating. Let me check the guide. Uh, achieve an A ranking. Complete the game without picking up a firearm. Complete the game in under half an hour. No. We did technically... Ugh. We did technically get all endings. These are just good and bad. The other one is just complete the game in 30 minutes, which definitely is doable. And complete the game... I, I, I did it in, what, 40 minutes. Complete the game without picking up the firearm, which I actually could have done in the first playthrough because I didn't use it at first. I would say you should get the pacifist without shooting it. Without killing an enemy, not picking it up. Like, holding it... It's like Batman's hold, held a gun before, but variably, you know, he's still a uh, guy that doesn't shoot guns, you know, kind of thing. And achieve an A ranking. If you speedrun the game, don't kill anyone, do it in under half an hour, then definitely you'll get the A rank. So it's basically, if I play the game one more time, I could get all the achievements. Nah. I'm alright. Because getting getting 100% of the achievements doesn't at, doesn't help the developer in any way. Like wishlisting the game, buying the game, reviewing the game helps. But uh, I played the game fully. I'm content with what I got. But either way, the nameless not a bad indie horror game. I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, the one I had mentioned before. The um, God, I the one lighthouse. The no one lives under the lighthouse. That was strangely majestic to me. But, um, most of that involves cinematic feel. When it ha when a game presents itself as a good indie horror game, I'll say this is a good indie horror game. But, unrelated to, like, me rating this, what makes a game better, and it has nothing to do with, like, me critiquing this game, I'm just saying it as an end, end thing rant. But it's just like, whenever an indie horror game, in my personal opinion, has the cinematic feel going for it, like there's a theatrical where the camera is like looking somewhere, showing you but not telling you, and you're in for the experience and it's theatrical, it's cinematic, then it becomes an experience. This game, in a different way, was mostly pure combat, reminiscent, in my opinion, of Resident Evil, and didn't do anything bad. But gameplay, gameplay immersion, I'd say it's pretty good. The only thing I'd be needing improvement would be things like uh, enemy models, animations. It's better than what probably a lot of the uh, others in the community can make early in, depending on how many games this person's made under their belt, but I'd still say pretty damn good for a indie horror game that I guess took me an hour to record. Um, something you could do in a speedrun, something that's comparable to... Oh, what was the other thing? Nightmare House? Nightmare of Decay. It kind of reminded me of Nightmare of, of Decay, but a Nightmare of Decay, I think, got years of work for it being like a first-person Resident Evil style game, that shit had like a lot more polish, a lot more, uh, just a lot of like, man, I won't even know. It's, it's like Nightmare of Decay. Like I have 11.5 hours on that and it's like a first-person, easily speed runnable, first-person Resident Evil style game. And likewise, if I'm comparing it to other kind of games in Resident Evil, I could at least see future potential, depending on the direction that the developer goes, but a good, solid indie horror game nonetheless, if they were to polish up more, be able to get more visual, more fluid, like fluidity in the animations, uh, I don't know, there's so many directions one can go, I, I can't really dictate what is for the best or not, but for what it is, an interesting indie horror game, 
short, but it does its job. There's a mystery, there's a story, and multiple endings, and you figure it out. Eh, it's nothing to scare you, though. That's the only thing. It's not horrifying. But I don't know if it would be scary to young people. But, hey, I'm going to stop ranting now. Nonetheless, a solid short indie horror game. Let me know your thoughts down below if you agree, disagree. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.